Hello and welcome to Best WP7 Games. Today we're looking at Dungeon Stalker, a uh, dungeon crawler RPG from uh, Pamsoft. As you can see, we'll start a new game here. Uh, I've got a few characters already created. So I'll uh, randomly create a new one. If you, if you tap the dice, it randomly rolls a new name and avatar, so you can type your own name in and you can scroll through the uh, avatars if you prefer. Uh, as you can see, there's also uh, your stats at the bottom, and these you have to roll, and you can't manually adjust them. Just keep rolling until you get something right. Uh, this will do. Um, so, let's start the game, and it, it's quite a quick process. It drops into the dungeon and pops up with this option for a tutorial, which is quite handy. Uh, first time you play, I definitely recommend using it. It's very useful. Nice to touch an in game tutorial. A lot of games don't feature that. As you see, you control with the bottom left of the screen there, those little arrows. So uh, the top left arrow makes you turn left, top right makes you turn right, and then the other four arrows make you move forward and backwards, and uh, sidestep. Just a little cog item appeared, uh, button appeared at the right hand corner there when I approached the door, which let me open it, obviously enough. Well, let's uh, pop around. So you see there's a sword on the floor, so now a pick up item appears, pick it up, it's actually a dagger. Now tap at the bottom of the screen, it shows you your stat, your current health and mana and such. Tap it again, it brings up the inventory, so you can equip your dagger. And now I've got a little sword icon at the bottom. Uh, right, I don't know if you can see there's a little enemy behind this uh, gate. We open it and get ready to uh, bash him with my dagger. And slash and move back. Always a good tactic, you slash them and then dodge to run away before they get a chance to hit you. Right, slash for a few times, so he dropped a, uh, a pendant. I'll go in and equip that. It's, uh, it'll increase my armor by two, that's nice. I also got a level up, so by tapping my uh, avatar in the inventory, which normally brings up your stats, just to let you know what they are, uh, because I've leveled up, it lets me level up my skills as I choose. So um, I'll round this up, so I've got six of everything, and increase my intelligence. Yeah, there you go, so you apply it. See everything goes up, uh, my health is now slightly higher, my mana is slightly higher from increasing my intelligence. So I keep walking along. Um, now these dungeons are randomly generated, though the first one is always um, very simple. It always follows the same uh, basic plan. I assume that's the same for all the dungeons actually. And say the layout is randomised, but there are certain features that will always be there. I know the loot is certainly randomised though. Right, first dungeon you always get this is the Book of Magic. Um, handily, <laughs> be kind of suck if you designed a magic oriented character and then couldn't cast any magic for the first half of the game. So you pick this up, and this little lightning bolt symbol appears in the bottom right. And this is your uh, magic casting thing. And it's interesting, I mean, it's like the original Dungeon Mass, so you have to create a series of rooms. So you have to learn the patterns to cast spells rather than just. Uh... And so you can cast any spell from the very beginning, or any spell that you've got enough mana to cast. So I just cast magic water, which creates a bottle of water in my inventory. And I can do that without having read a scroll about it. Um, I actually discovered that by accident the first time I played the game. I just tried to make a W symbol, and there we went. So I picked up a scroll, and this one tells you your first, uh, well, the, the simplest offensive spell, Meteor. Which is your sort of H symbol, X-ish symbol, and N-like symbol. Um, let's try and use that on the next enemy we see, so you can see what's like. Oh, here we go. There's a uh, spider around the corner. Uh, actually, yes, it freezes time when you bring that up, so that's a bit dumb. I'll wait until he's actually... there we go. So we'll cast that. The Meteor spell. If I can tap correctly. <laughs> there we go. Bang. There we go. He died actually before I even tried to slash him. And he uh, dropped a marriage ring, which is slightly odd. But, uh, <laughs> increases my armor, as of course all marriage rings do. But yeah, um, you see it's a simple enough game. The graphics aren't brilliant, uh, and they're obviously pre-rendered, but they uh, sort of, a lot of it reminds me of figures and styles from Poser and free graphics, and it's... And I can understand why they've done it, and it, it works perfectly well. It's just, I actually prefer the look of, say, Dungeon Master, which is a 24-year-old game. Um, it just had a little bit more character to it, whereas this seems a bit clip-arty, if that makes any sense. But despite all that, I mean, it works brilliantly. The sound, like in Dungeon Master, it works well with the sound of monsters in the distance. Uh, always a bit frightening. Uh, and we'll just finish the tutorial area and leave.
It's a scroll for me to climb down a ladder, and so that's what I do. And that's been uh, Dungeon Stalker, available now on the marketplace for 79 pence.